passively investing in real estate is mostly passive. However, it does require some upfront work to make sure that a particular offering aligns with your investment goals. And the best way to do that is to ask the sponsor a whole bunch of questions before you transfer your funds. When I'm interested in investing in something, I have about eight areas that I like to look into. That's the sponsor, the property manager, the property itself and the surrounding market, and then the business plan and their financial projections, the construction plan, and then I wanna know about the loan and financing, and finally, the legal documents. And to help me do that, I curated 194 questions based on my own experience and talking to other experts. And it's a lot of questions and I know it, but that's because I like the details. And if you're that same kind of person who loves those kind of details, I can give you all of my 194 questions. Just check out the link in the description. For now, what I wanna do is focus on the top six questions related to the construction plan. And if all you do is ask these six questions, it will already put you on a great track to making wiser investment decisions. I'm James Furlow, providing strategies and tools to help real estate investors maximize their long-term cash flow while minimizing headaches. Thanks for watching. Question number one, has the construction company successfully completed a project that is similar to this? I love this question, and it's one that's not asked very often because it's a sneaky one because so much of a value add is dependent on that construction company doing the renovations on time and on budget. And so just ask, have they ever done something like this before? You would be surprised at how many times the answer is no. And so it's just one of those things you wanna double check. Question number two, what is the renovation plan, including all the details for the repair estimates? It's important that you see the details, not because you're gonna double check them and make sure all the line items line up, but you just wanna make sure that the sponsor has thought through all of the different details and all the aspects of the construction. They didn't just say, it's $10,000 a unit, we're calling it good. No, like what's inside that $10,000? What are they actually planning to accomplish? And so you just wanna see the details. Question number three, does the renovation fit with the property's market and neighborhood. It doesn't make sense to create luxury apartments in a low income neighborhood and vice versa. If you've got a really nice neighborhood, it doesn't make sense to make workforce housing. So you just want to make sure that the plan works with the market and the neighborhood. Question number four, how long is the sponsor projecting it will take to complete the capital expenditure? This question really helps in two areas. Number one, it helps you understand the scope of the project. Like, is this a two month thing or a two year thing? And then number two, this is just simply a reasonableness check for all the stuff that was in the details. Does it kind of just make intuitive sense that, oh yeah, it would take this long to do it. And if they don't align, ask, just figure out, hey, this seems like a huge list, but yet you're only saying this is gonna take four months. How is that? And I don't know, the answer might be, well, this construction crew is 20 people and they're just gonna get in and do it. That's highly possible. So you just wanna ask and check. Question number five, how will the sponsor take care of tenants? I know a lot of investors like to ignore this, but at the end of the day, real estate is a people business. They are real people living there, having real lives. And so it can't just be numbers on a spreadsheet. So you wanna ask what happens during these renovations when we're effectively gonna be kicking people out? Is it really just kicking them to the curb? Is it just giving them notices? Are they working with them? Are they potentially gonna to be too flexible and not be able to execute the plan because they're gonna be unwilling to deal with tenants? And so these are questions that you want to really figure out and just understand and hear the story and their plan behind it. Again, you're not the one who's gonna be doing it. You're not the one who says, yes, this is the plan or not, but you're just really verifying that the sponsor has a plan. Question number six, is this a project that you're proud to put your money in? I like this one because it's really, it's a gut check. And it's really just saying, is this something that you're happy about, that you would tell your friends about, that you would say, yes, I am proud of what we did, as opposed to something where it's like, yeah, we kicked out a whole bunch of people, but man, we made a ton of money. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's this gut check. Are you proud about what you are investing in? I think that that's really important. So there you go. These are six questions that help me get past that initial sales pitch to understand just some more details about how are we actually going to pull off the turnaround in this property. And as you could imagine, there are a lot more questions that you can ask. I came up with 194 of them. And if you would like access to them as well, check out the link in the description. 
And finally, if you found this helpful, please like the video. And if you want more tools and strategies to help you maximize your long-term cash flow while minimizing headaches, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.